almost like a herbally citrusy rose. That's what I smell in it. I don't know. Sure, wicking wishy a washing mashable. Washing mashable. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun video for you today. I've got a big old box in front of me. This is the Influencer Spice Vox Box. So this is my first ever box that I've gotten from Influencer. And I'm really excited about it because I've heard multiple people talk about Influencer, like either on their Instagram accounts or their YouTube channels. So this was sent to me for free, but anybody can sign up for Influencer. So what I did is I downloaded the app and then you can like connect it to your different social media accounts and you have like an influencer or influence score or something like that, like your influence level. They learn that by like your social media accounts. And then also you take different little quizzes, like do you have pets? Do you have children? Um, do you like to eat snacks? Um, what kind of foundation do you like to wear? And then I guess from those questions and from your influence level, they then pick different people to receive different boxes. So I didn't know that I was gonna get this one and I was really excited to see it in my mail. So yeah, I've just gone ahead and opened it up. I've tried out the different things inside, except for I think one item I haven't tried. Oh, two things I haven't tried yet. But anyway, I'll be able to give you some reviews on at least most of these things in this box and just kind of show you what's in here. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. So you can see it's like a whole just fun collection of random different things in here to try, which is really fun. The bag, I've already been trying these chips, so that's why it's a little bit mangled. But yeah, that's what it looks like when you get it. So I'm gonna show you what is in here and give you my thoughts and opinions on them. So these are the two things that I haven't tried yet. This is the Foot Pedals Give Em The Boot. Heel to toe cushioning for maximum shock absorption, moisture wicking, machine washable. It says feel the comfort. And it feels very nice, very like soft and kind of squishy. But the problem is for me, um, it's too big. Like I wear like a five and a half to six, usually a six, but sometimes I wear a five and a half. So I have kind of a tiny foot. And so this probably won't work for me. But I was showing it for Tim uh, to Timothy and I was like, hey, you could use this. Why not? So he may use them. I mean, they just feel really squishy and soft, and I think they'd be really comfortable in boots. And then this is some Yogi Tea. It says, how good can you feel? So the first one is the Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy. It says, supports elevated mood and energy levels. And then this one is the Vanilla Spice, which sounds really nice. Perfect energy energizes the body and focuses the mind. I love vanilla. So I bet that's gonna be really yummy. So I need to try these out and see what I think about them. And then you guys know that I love this. This is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. It says for all hair types, builds body, thickens strands, tames frizz, non-sticky. So I've mentioned this in multiple videos before. I love this stuff. It smells like vanilla cupcakes, but it's also a really good mousse. Originally I just bought it for the scent um, and used up an entire container of it. And then I switched to something else just to like, because sometimes I switch things around and I'll kind of bounce around to other products. So I went to something else and I was like, ew, I just did not like how my hair was doing with that other mousse. So I went back to using this. So I love it for the scent, but I do really like just how it holds my hair and how it doesn't feel sticky and gross and disgusting in my hair. It really is a nice creamy mousse. And then this is the Good Health Veggie Sticks. It says 50% less fat than potato chips. And I guess this is the sea salt flavor. I love salty snacks, I love dip, I love chips, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can avoid sweets pretty easily, but salty snacks and bread. I love bread too, but dip is like high on the list of unhealthy things that I love to eat. But anyway, chips are high up there too. These are really yummy though, and it talks about like all the good stuff that it has in it. So it does have some good like vitamin values in it. Um, and they taste really yummy, so I like these a lot. And then there are a couple of Simple Colors nail polishes in here. So first, this is the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech Step 1 Color. This is in the shade Prosecco. So I do have this on my nails today. Um, I do really like this. It's a really pretty taupey color with really tiny gold micro shimmer. It's beautiful. Um, it did take some building up, so one coat was pretty sheer. I did two coats, but three probably would have been even better for like full opacity, um, but it's a really pretty shade. It applied nicely, other than needing several coats. But it's one of those good, like, I don't know, office appropriate sort of colors where it's still kind of muted, but it's also something interesting. So I do really like this. Now the top coat, um, it did make my nails really shiny, which I liked, 
but it was just taking a long time to dry. I'm so impatient when it comes to my nails. I want to like paint them and be done with it because I'm a terrible painter anyway. So it's like, let's just get this over with. Let's get this process finished. So waiting on a top coat is like, not my thing. So I just applied the out the door top coat over the top of it and then it dried quickly. So it is a pretty top coat if you're patient enough to wait for it to dry. Then this is the Boots Botanics The Power of Plants Hydrating Day Cream. It says 81% organic, softens and moisturizes for 24 hours with nourishing rose hip. So I did use this on my skin today before makeup and it's very nice. It's very kind of like it's rosy smelling. It's kind of like herbally with a little bit of rose. So if you don't like rose, I don't know if you could possibly handle this. I don't know. It's almost like a herbally citrusy rose. That's what I smell in it. I don't know, but it is a really nice cream. Um, it's got a really nice texture to it. It's very hydrating. So, I mean, if you are more on the oily side, this is probably not the cream for you. But if you're more like, I'm kind of like, I don't know, in the winter time, I'm probably more combination, maybe normal, somewhere in there. And this is fine for me. It seems totally fine, but a really nice moisturizer. And I love that it's more on the organic side. That's just an added little bonus too. And then I say my favorite two things in the box for last. These are the Soapbox Shampoo with Shea Butter and Conditioner with Shea Butter. And they're both coconut, which they smell amazing. Oh my gosh, yes. If you love coconut, yes, this is so good. So I use this on my hair today, um, and I feel like they were a good shampoo and conditioner. Like, you know, they it cleaned my hair, it conditioned my hair nicely. I wouldn't say anything like, I don't know, groundbreaking or incredible, but I would say that they're good basic shampoo and conditioner. Um, but what I love about these, on the back it says, so first it says, soap equals hope, buy one, give one. So it says this shampoo is good and it talks about the ingredients in the shampoo like coconut oil, vitamins E and K, so basically it's good for your hair. So it talks about this shampoo is good, but then it says this shampoo does good. Soapbox's mission is to empower customers to change the world through everyday quality purchases. That's why this bottle, also provides a month's supply of clean water to a community in need through our partner Splash. Visit www.soapboxsoaps.com hope and type in the code below to find out where in the world you are doing good. What? I think that's the coolest thing ever. So, I mean, I do like the shampoo and conditioner. I think that they work just fine. I love that that is what is behind the brand. That they're doing good when you purchase shampoo and conditioner. Like that's just the coolest thing ever. And I just realized there is a little card in the box that like talks about the value of things and how much they cost. So these are $5.99 each. So super affordable and you're helping people in need when you purchase it, which is the coolest thing ever. Okay, so really quickly, I wanna tell you the prices on things. So the Botanics Organic Hydrating Day Cream, this is a suggested retail price of $12.99. The foot pedals, those, uh, that was $18.95 for the Give Em The Boot. The nail polishes, those are $2.99 each. The veggie straws are $3.99, and the tea is $4.99 for a 16 count. And then the cream styling mousse for a seven ounce, it says it's $7. I don't know if I, I feel like I might pay less than that at Ulta. But anyway, it's super affordable. It's a drugstore, you know, hair care product. So it's affordable. So that's the pricing on everything. All right guys, so that was everything that was in my Spice Vox box. I actually really loved this. I think it's so fun that it was like a hodgepodge of hair care and some food and some like a shoe thing. Like I think it's just fun that it's a hodgepodge. So if you want to sign up for Influencer, I would definitely recommend it. I had put it off for a while. I don't know why, but I'm glad that I did because it's fun to get new things to try out. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you got the Vox Box, let me know your favorite thing that you got in the box. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.